Hey everyone, it's Celine here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome, welcome back. It's, I've been gone for quite some time and I'm excited to show you guys the stock room tour. So, well, I would say stock room, cutting room. Um, I had to expand it and everything. If you're new here, hi, hello. This is Selena here in her shop. Um, all <laughs> a little warm today. I've been grabbing boxes in and out and uh, getting things on the shelves and things ready for today. So this is the dress down version of Selena, um, but I want to at least uh, show you guys what it takes and what it's like to be in the stock room here at Amore Fabrics and how I store fabrics, how I cut fabrics, and at least I give you a tour to see what's going on, what's coming up. So my absence for what, has it been like a month or two? I feel like it's like a, it just flies by. So like I said, if you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe. If you're a crafty person, you, I'm sure you will love to see this and see what kind of products we have and how we do it. Um, I just, business just been going crazy. So I had to expand. So I have taken over the entire unit here and um, I wanted to show you guys. I don't really get a chance to stop what I'm doing and just kind of just say, hey, I haven't had the time. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I had time for you guys to see. Um, how I do this <laughs> day to day kind of thing. So let me give you a tour um, and then show you the tables and how I set this up. And uh, this is the room I come into every day, uh, Monday through Friday. And um, I usually start around noon, the morning time to about like nine. I take care of messages, print out orders, things like that. But let me turn the camera around and let's give you a tour so I can stop this rambling. Hang on one second. Okay, here we go. So when you first come in, um, you have the very first cutting table. Usually this is the area where um, I open up the big doors over here, bring in whatever new stock that comes in. And um, this is the sorting table pretty much. This is some some uh, sorry that came in yesterday. This is partial order. I, I usually order 300 of them every uh, couple weeks. And so here are some of the colors that I got in. Here is the stock shelves. Here is um, right here. I guess I could take it easy and slower for you, um, is uh, some box that came in yesterday. I think this is about 200 uh, um, uh, quilts that I have in that are the uh, Cantha quilts. I need to open them up. Um, I think what I can do is I can do a video opening for you guys and show you what's in those boxes. I should start doing that more often. I just added a new rack um, for more storage. Let's see here. I could take you towards this angle. So I have many cutting tables, many, many lights as well. And I got the heater in. So these doors come up so in the summertime I can enjoy some beautiful air on the opposite side. So this is one cutting uh, station for like, um, I got to hire some new people. I've been doing this all by myself. I used to have help. Um, I had my mom come in for two weeks. She helped me out big time. So I got some new cutting tables here, sorting tables. Here is my favorite cutting station. This is where I'm at most of the time. Um, I don't know, I just love the location of it. This here is where I do most of my cutting. And then the, the stuff I put on the opposite table. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen area. This is where I normally do most of my canning and stuff. When those doors open up, um, I can can. All my canning stuff is below. Coffee dyeing paper, that's where I do that at. Um, right now, what I have on a table, I've been doing doilies, getting the doily listings up and ready to go. Um, I also have uh, right now doing the, if those who remember, I'm doing the, um, oh, those lace lots where I do the 10 and a half by 14 and a half um, uh, different lace and doilies, actually handmade ones. Um, and then the newer ones and I put them in a pack of 10. So those are coming up as a daily deal. Here's the other cutting station on the opposite side. Um, big, huge warehouse here. So that's not even counting with the stock. Um, so this wall here is Cantha wall. So pretty much I get, um, uh, about 200 Cantha every couple weeks as well. So this is usually scraps and stuff, uh, which I make the scrap packs out of. I usually separate Cantha by the color. Um, my stock is low right now. Uh, I need a bunch more. We have some coming in. Um, so the different, different scrap packs. I also sell Cantha scraps by the color and stuff like that as well. This rack here is uh, scraps of everything, guys. That's from all that beautiful stuff from India that's cut up and stuff. 
Um, lace, oh my gosh, we got a bunch of lace things going on. Mom, help me out with this. We have the lace lots coming up again, the doily lace lots. So we have lace bins ready to go. That's coming up. So this here is all like things to list. Um, here is, I usually accumulate over time the vintage quilts and stuff. So we have the vintage quilt lots coming up where we have the junk journal packs of vintage quilts. Um, embroidery packs are coming up as well. Once that fills up a little bit more, uh, the hanky rack, the hankies are kind of low. I usually like waiting to get a large bend before I do. And then up at the way top is um, different quilted square blocks and stuff. So those lots are coming up. Uh, so we got the fabrics. Scrap fabrics, I gotta separate those. Okay guys, this is the bins of the different India scarves that you see on the table over there. Kind of dark on this section. Okay, this is what I've been ready to get excited about. You guys know I used to do junk journal kits like crazy back in the day. I usually wait till one of these bins are all filled before I introduce a kit. So, looks like we're almost there. I have the beach garden junk journal kits coming up. Victorian junk journal kits, that was full. The garden floral is semi full, we're getting there. Christmas junk journal kits, we'll do those in July. Traveler kits are probably the next one. Either the Victorian <clears throat> and the Travelers will be both coming up. Beach, soon, I've accumulated so many shells from different beaches because I live close to many beaches. So um, this is gonna be an amazing kit as well. So junk journal kits are coming back into town. Um, oh gosh people papers dictionary page packs they're in the shop already junk journal kit papers are like the different ledgers and things like that that's what I add to those kits we've seen behind me music pages I don't think I have that in there but I have bins and bins of vintage music sheet pages and stuff so paper packs are coming back so that is ready to go um, so that's what's in those bins that is pretty much the cutting and stock room now I do have another shop, which I didn't introduce to you guys. I have more than one Etsy shop. Uh, I guess I should introduce it to you guys at some time. That is what this rack is here for. I have inside the house, half the house is stocked just for that shop, but I'm gonna start bringing it out here. I got the racks coming in. I got this opposite wall I need to fix and clean, but I gotta get this here going. All right, now that I gave you guys the tour, it was not exactly a pretty tour. But at least you can see what it is and what it takes for me to, um, to process this stuff every day. So I wake up every morning, I got my coffee thing there, I put my lunch in there. Um, if I don't feel like going into the house, this is where I normally am at. This is where the magic starts and ends every day. Um, I do this all by myself. So everything you guys see in the shop, it's me. I do it <laughs> from the trims to the square packs to the beaded fabric packs, the 10 and a half by 10 and a half, uh, the lace, it is all me. <laughs> so this is the tour. I hope you guys like it. I normally don't do this, but I wanted to tell you guys at least uh, where I've been. I've been cleaning this, getting it ready, getting it organized. I have a bunch of stock coming in from sorry trims and things like that. And before I start bombing you with the new stuff, at least I can show you where have I been where I'm at most of the time. And I promise to bring you guys some new videos. I'm excited. Stay tuned though, guys, because the first video that I will be releasing is the lace kits. So these are amazing. So today I will be cutting my tiny little fingers <laughs> like crazy all day with band-aids by the end of the day. All these here to make you guys a cute daily deal pack. I have an amazing gift with purchase. Um, that I think you absolutely love. I meant to get this out by Valentine's Day, but just guys, as you can tell, I ran out of time. So the gift with purchase is, like, give you a big hint, glass beads, um, that's a good hint. Um, and I hope you're gonna love it. So, all right guys, thank you for taking the time for the tour around so you can see me. And I feel like I'm always on fast forward all the time. <laughs> Take a deep breath, Selena, right? Take a deep breath. 
Um, so we got this. So now I can start setting up my tripod and bring you into the stock room more often, show you what I do and how I do it. Um, I used to do videos and flip out the stuff for you guys all the time, but um, being a one man band, it's kind of tough to get that all out at the same time. So I thank you guys for your patience and understanding as I'm trying to balance that and not forget you guys and, um, and talk with you guys more. I feel like I'm not by the computer or by the internet as much as I normally could be. But the good news is I have, I'm hiring two helpers um, two days a week that will help free me up so that I can have a little bit more time, rest my little hands and, and uh, wrists, and maybe uh, do my hair once in a while. So, <laughs> all right guys, until next time, look for the next video. Like I said, it'll be the Lace Daily Deal. Um, I have new silks that came in, so I wanted to introduce, well, I'll give you a sneak peek really quick. Hang on, let me see if I can do this. All right, and here, oh my gosh, I haven't done silks yet in the shop, but in here, I've been storing in the safe cabinet every kind of silk you can think of. This is 100% silk, guys. It is not soft and shifty. It feels like cotton. It's called a woven silk. So I have every color in there. It, this is a really deep cabinet, so you can't really see. But this is yards and yards of it. So I'm going to be putting them into packs, also into sari strips, as those some commonly call it sari ribbon. That's coming up. Um, I can't wait to do that. That is just not ready yet. I just not ready. Um, first things first, I got to take care of stock that's coming in. Get this lace for you guys and start pumping out some good videos for you guys. So welcome to my storage area and my cutting area guys. And, um, I'm glad I had the time to show you it clean. That is because it's not always as pretty. Sometimes you have fabric flying everywhere on some days. Um, so lots of fiber here, guys. All right, guys have a beautiful day. What's today? Today, if this video is be introduced, I'm doing this video on a Tuesday. So whatever day is today, I hope it's a good one and a happy crafting. And uh, I'm glad that I'm able to provide this beautiful stuff for you guys. It's such a joy. So have a good one, guys. Until next time, thank you for your patience of my absence. Have a good one, guys.